Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to make this assemblage sculpture. An assemblage is a work of art made by grouping found or unrelated objects. One of the most famous assemblage artists is Louise Nevelson. Check out some of her work if you can. Louise would take boxes and fill them with wood of all different shapes and sizes, and then she would paint the boxes one color and then stack them all up to make a giant wall. If you're a teacher and you're doing this lesson with an entire class, once the students are done, you can take all of the boxes and stack them someplace in the school and make one large assemblage sculpture for everyone to see. That's what I did in this next clip. You will need a cardboard box for this lesson. This is the one I will be using in the video. I bought these for my students. They came flat like this, and I had my students fold them up into this shape. You could also use a jewelry box or a small shoe box would work well too. Marker caps from dried out markers. Different wooden pieces. Plastic bottle caps. Assorted wooden sticks cardboard pieces, buttons, puzzle pieces, various pieces of wood cutouts, all different shapes, white bottled glue, a plate to put your paint on, a cup of water with different sized brushes, acrylic white paint. When I'm doing this lesson, I put one of these large containers on the table full of all the items that we're going to be using for this lesson. Here's how to fold the box. Bring these sides in first. And this comes down and over on the top. See? Comes in, and this tab goes down there. There we go. Now that the box is made, I'm going to start assembling the items in the box until I like the composition, and then I will use white bottled glue to glue them down. Now I'm going to start gluing the items inside the box.
make sure everything sticks so it's okay to use extra glue on this project. I'm going to let the glue dry, and the next step is to paint it all one color. The glue has dried on my assemblage project. You'll notice that the white glue has turned clear, and now it's time to paint everything with one color. For this project, I'm going to use white acrylic paint. I found that acrylic paint works best for this. I tried it with temper paint, but the temper paint, every time I gave the project a coat, it would start cracking, and it didn't look too good. So acrylic paint works best. So I'm going to get the paint ready and then I'm going to give it its first coat, let it dry and then coat it with a second coat to make sure I've got all the areas that I may have missed. I'm going to use a plate today as my palette. You could also use a bowl. I like to cover the tables in my classroom with brown craft paper. That way the acrylic paint doesn't mess up the top of the tables. All right, let's begin. You wanna make sure that you work the paint into all of the little surface areas. When painting the inside of bottle caps, I like to twist the brush like this. It seems to work best for coating the inside. Also make sure that you get all the little crevices in between the little pieces that you have glued. Make sure you look at your project from lots of different angles to make sure that you get all of those surface areas covered with paint. Now the inside has been painted, I can already tell that it's going to need a second coat. I'm going to paint the sides of my box now. To do that, I like to elevate the box off of the brown paper. That way it doesn't dry and stick to the brown paper and rip as I lift it up. So I usually use like a top of a container and that elevates it off the surface and then I can also turn it easily as I paint the sides.
the first coat has dried. When you look close, you can see that some of the paint cracked and you can see the color marker underneath. So it's gonna need a second coat, which is what I thought. So I'm going to apply a second coat, same paint, and then let that dry. The second coat is done. Hopefully this will cover up all of those cracks and any color that was showing last time. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll show you what it looks like complete. The paint has dried and my sculpture is done. I'm happy with the results. I was trying to make a flower shape in the middle here. I like how after I painted it all white, it unified all of the different colors and all of the different shapes that I used. I was also working with symmetry. If you divide this down the middle, it has the same kind of shapes on both sides. Also this way it works if you divide it right down the middle. And I, I was trying to balance both sides so it had like an equal amount of shapes on this, each side. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this assemblage sculpture and I hope your artwork turns out awesome. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.